don't say if you wanna learn how to scream. What I'm talking about? There are videos on screaming for beginners out there, and coaches in these videos propose to do the following thing. Say deeply like you're very tired after work, something like that. <sighs> then you develop the sound, it becomes louder. <sighs> and here you growls basically. <sighs> Amazing, easy, everybody can do that. For me personally, such growls and screams sound kinda lame. But apart from that, what else is wrong with this method? First of all, it gives you keys only to loosen air with falsetto distortion screams. Which means, if you wanna growl like your favorite deathcore vocalist, Corey Taylor or Randy from Lamp of God, or even if you wanna do some tight, high screams, You simply won't be able to do that, because the aforementioned techniques require your muscles to be strong. Falsetto techniques and falsetto distortions, on the other hand, don't. If you start with good chest drive and develop your screams step by step, you will be able to do these loose screams, no problem with that. But if you start with size, switching to a tight sound will be quite difficult. Yeah, your muscles will be somewhat stronger than false cords and cartilage of an average person, but anyway, it will take quite a lot of time. So, if you're interested only in the loose falsetto screams, that's fine, go for that. But if you're not, here's another reason why size are not the best idea. You will just have little control over your screams. For example, I can activate and deactivate every muscle that I want, with the minimal required effort. When you sigh, you just randomly throw air, which catches some muscles, and as a result you get some flappy distortion. But you will barely control it at first, and even when you somehow manage to do so, you'll still have less control over your screams compared to a guy who started with his chest techniques and only after that switched to lose falsetto stuff. You're waiting for the barrow, the barrow never jumps! On top of that, with strong chest techniques, your falsetto screams will have more endurance than without them. The logic is simple. Chest techniques that have chest drive in the foundation require more muscle strength. And with your muscles pumped up, your falsetto screams will be just easier to produce. So, that's all I wanted to say guys, there are no shortcuts in the world of extreme vocals, without strong foundation your screaming journey will be just way more difficult. And long. Check out my playlist with tutorials for the beginners, start to train, start to enhance your false chords, and you'll get some results. I wish you great screams, stay safe, bye.